how to sketch the graph of y equal tangent x and do all the shifting and stretching and all that good stuff. So to do that, we need to remember a couple things. Here's my little unit circle. And Blake, what is the coordinate at arc length zero? Perfect. And then we'll have up here, zero, one. And then down here, we'll have negative one, zero. And here we'll have zero, negative one. So if we label, like we talked about yesterday, arc lengths here, okay, we can see some interesting things happening. This should be, this will be pi, and this will be 3 pi over 2. And this will be negative pi and over 2, and this will be negative pi. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the tangent of y over x. So for 0, what is 0 over 1? 0. For this one, pi over 2, what is 1 over 0? Undefined. Well, that's what I expect, right? An asymptote. See that? Did you find it? Okay. So we're just looking at the tangent of 0 and the tangent of 90 degrees. This is undefined. Tangent of 0 is 0. Do you remember in the middle here, 1 over square root of 2, 1 over square root of 2. What would the tangent be of that? Pi over 4. What would that tangent be? 1. Yeah. So if you looked at the in-between points, here's what the tangent graph is going to be. Can you show me that with your arms? Now, x cubed is going to be fat, like this. Stretch, stretchy and fat. Tangent is tightened up because it has asymptotes at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So just remember that it's not x cubed. Looks like it, but it's different because it's asymptotic. It never crosses this line or that line. Uh, there are an infinite number of them. You could just keep doing these both sides if you wanted to. Uh, tell me, how far is it? How far is it from this asymptote to this asymptote? How far is that? Is it 2 pi like we had for sine and cosine? Sorry, it's only pi. Negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 is just pi. So the period is only pi. The amplitude is tricky. There is no amplitude. This goes to infinity. But we sketch it by going halfway between the asymptote and 0. And we go up and over. That's going to be the coefficient of the tangent. It's not really an asymptote. But that's how we find it. So are you ready to graph a real tangent graph? Are you ready for that? I am. 3 tangent 4 theta. The amplitude, just like before, is 3. B is 4. There's no shift. There's no D. So none and none. Amplitude is always the same as far as calculating, but it's going to look very different for tangent. Period, what did we say a complete cycle was? Pi. So before we had 2 pi over b, oh, 2 pi over b, the period now used to be 2 pi over b. What is it now for tangent? Yeah, unfortunately it's different. Pi over b. And by the way, this is not a 6. <laughs> My b's look like 6s. So uh, single pi over b is my period. You ready to sketch 3 tangent 4 pi over 4 theta? First thing I'm going to draw are going to be asymptotes. So I'm going to draw one here, draw one here. The period is pi over 4. The period is pi over 4. So if the period is pi over 4, and this is 0, 
what will this be here? Yeah, it's going to be half of pi over 4 because think of it this way. You need from here to here to be pi over 4. If it's 0 in the middle, you're only going to go half of pi over 4 this way, half that way. So that's where my asymptotes go. Then sketch your beautiful tangent graph. And we do have to put the amplitude. It goes up to infinity, so it really doesn't have an amplitude. But we fake it. We fake it by going pi over 16. Go up and over, down and over. What's this number here going to be? 3. Just the amplitude, 3. This the amplitude isn't the max. Maximum height right. Just, it's just a way to re reorganize it. Here's, here's how I would describe why. Is when we did the unit circle, here's my point at pi over 4. It's 1 over the square root of 2, 1 over the square root of 2. So can you see that the tangent of pi over 4 is a real simple looking ratio? Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's helpful for making my amplitude. Since this is 1, then I can go, oh, this is 1 times this number, 3. This is negative 1 times this number, 3. So that's where it comes from. You're right, though, it's not really a, an amplitude. Let's try this guy here. You guys are doing so well. Man, we're flying. We factored this out already. Tell me what's A? Negative 1 half. Uh, B is going to be the number in front of theta, which appears to be 1 half. So the period is going to be pi over 1 half, which is how many pi? 2 pi. And the amplitude was 1 half, right? Uh, C. C is going to be the shift. Now I see that pi over 2. Does it shift pi over 2 to the left or right? right? Right is correct. And does it move up or down? Not this time. Okay. So I'm going to draw my, just sketch the asymptotes first. And then normally we would draw that. Because that's what tangent. What does this negative do to the whole thing? It's just going to, yeah, it's just going to do this. If you would be so kind and drop, make sure that one's more dominant. Maybe we've got a thicker. Oh, I know what we could do. This thing. There you go. Now you can see it. Okay, so now all we have to do is put in our periods. Now, with the period, you said the whole period was how far? 2 pi. So what, if this is 0, what will go here and what will go here? Pi and negative pi. Is that going too fast? It's 2 pi. So if this is 0, I'm going to go pi plus pi to give me 2 pi. Then I need the amplitude, go up and over, just an estimate. That's just going to be a half. Down, down and over is negative 1 half. That's the amp, sort of the amplitude. For fake amplitude, really. And then, oh, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do this one here. Oh, stars. So, does this give me one set of stars, or does this do, keep them together? Oh, good. All right, so which way does this move, left or right? To the right. Now, here's pi, so where's pi over 2? Here's pi, pi over 2 is halfway in the middle. So there's my shifted tangent, 2 pi shifted over pi over 2. Is that doable? Oh, hands up, yes. Correct, correct. And so I should draw those. Good point. 
So those will shift over like that. And it still has a period of how much? How far is it from here to here? Still 2 pi. Yep. It's just shifted over. We had these here. This is also 2 pi. It's shifted over. <laughs>